Hi gorgeous! In today's video I'm testing out a product that claims to lighten foundations that may be too dark for you. This has been a very large request, so I went ahead and sought this product out. I got it from the Body Shop, and these are their lightening drops. And they also make darkening drops, and I think that this is such an excellent idea for a product because one of the biggest problems with foundations particularly is that a lot of lines don't carry shades that are light enough or shades that are dark enough. And so you're kind of stuck with the struggle if you're really fair or if you're really dark. So I wanted to put this product to the test for you, show you how it applies, wear it throughout the day and let you know, is it worth trying out or not? For this demo, I'm using one of my favorite drugstore foundations and that is the Maybelline Better Skin. Now I went and picked up the shade Ivory. This is not a color match for me. I typically use the one that is above this one, I can't remember which one it is offhand. And to give you an example of how this does not match my complexion, I'll go ahead and blend this in on one half of my face here. There you can see the difference between my face and my neck, two totally different colors. Now I've tested out the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation in the past, this is why I'm using it in this tutorial today. It's long wearing and it does not oxidize. So we'll see if the lightning drops actually keep it light on my face today or if they will fail and this darker shade will come through. The way that I'm going to do this is take a little bit of the foundation that does not match. I'm going to use one pump on the back of my hand here and then take some of the lightning drops and attempt to mix them in with the foundation. I'm going to use two to start with to see what that looks like. Still looks a little dark on the back of my hand there so I'm going to take some more and it does tell you to mix in as many as you need until you get the shade that you feel like matches your skin. What I will tell you is that the dropper tool that they include with the lightning drops doesn't work worth a flip. It is hard to get any of the product up into the dropper tool to even use. See what I mean? I'm not too happy with that. I've added in about five more drops. So we'll see if this is a better match. It looks a little better already. Not anywhere near as dark as it did before much better color match than what I had before. So this was using eight of the lightening drops with one pump of the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation to achieve the right coloring for me. But I think that's also going to depend on how dark the foundation is that you're working with before applying the lightening drops. Like if you're using a really, really dark foundation that does not match you, then you may need to add more. Well, it'll be very interesting to see how these hold up throughout the day. So far, really impressed. Let's hope that they wear well throughout the day too because if they are as good as I'm hoping that they will be, this is gonna open up so many doors for us fair girls and dark skin girls that cannot find a color match, especially in the drugstore. So I'll be back shortly to let you know how it wore and if it is something that I recommend. End of the day check-in for you here, and yes, this is 10 hours later. Hard to believe this is with a drugstore foundation, but I told you, Maybelline Better Skin is one of my most favorite ones for longevity alone, and this is why. I'm very happy to tell you that the lightning drops didn't fade. I don't even know if that's the correct word to use, but they helped the foundation to stay my color match all day, so the darker shade did not come back once underneath the lightning drops, very happy to see that. One of the things I was most concerned about with using the lightning drops was, is it going to affect the performance of the foundation? And there's even a little warning on the back of the label here that says that it can affect the performance of your foundation. But I'm very happy to tell you that in this case, it did not. And Maybelline Better Skin still held up, even with the lightning drops used in combination to apply the foundation. So I am really happy with these. And if you have struggled with finding a match in a certain line that you've been looking to try, whether you're fair or dark, absolutely recommend the Body Shop Lightening Drops or Darkening Drops for that matter. And I'm gonna go back and try these now with the Estee Lauder Double Wear line because that is another line that I have struggled personally to find a match in. 
doesn't exist. So I'm gonna try it out with lightning drops to see if I can at least get a color match, finally, because it is one of the longest wearing foundations that I have heard about. Let me know what you thought about the lightning drops based off of today's video, or if you've tried them out yourself from Body Shop or any other brand out there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.